which question I was going to answer. Okay, let's see. What was the first question? Um, if you had a friend that was a potential? Yeah. Okay, had a friend in college. I was engaged at the time, but my boyfriend never wanted to do anything. He always wanted to stay in the house, so then I met this other guy. Oh, sorry. I met this other guy, and he was sports management, so you know, he had tickets to everything. So I was always hanging out with him, and then 10 years later, we hooked back, not hooked up as a sexually, but we got back together. He's like, you know what, I always wanted to date you, but you were always engaged. I'm like, okay. So he's like, well, why don't you meet me in New Orleans for the weekend? I'm like, ah, okay. So, you know, I packed two separate suitcases. An intimate suitcase, just in case it went that way. And a <laughs> normal suitcase, just in case it went that way, because I had no clue where this was going. You know, we didn't talk about it before I got on the plane. So I'm like, okay, nervous. And it was just a friend weekend. So my intimate suitcase never got open. And I found myself crying all the way back from New Orleans back to Maryland. Because I guess I did, deep down inside, had expectations for the weekend. But now we're still cool. He's married, but he's unhappy with his marriage. So, you know, I try to back up a little bit, not to get in there, but I think I know him better than his wife does. So I have to back up and not make the phone calls. So, it can happen. Um, hey Jamie, you're in the way, girl. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Thank you. Yeah, sit right there, Angie. Um, one more question before we move on to the um, next segment. Now, when you are actually dealing with somebody that you know, I'll just put it like this. I have an old coworker of mine. She was seeing this guy, let's say, eight, nine years ago. And they had a, a, a great time together. They were always going out, having a ball, you know, just a very fun, passionate relationship. But he was adamant about not being in a, in a committed relationship. He did not want to be in a committed relationship with her. He wanted to continue having fun with other people, dating other people, when she wanted to be specifically with him. So she made the decision that she did not want to be with him anymore. All right? She was going to move on because she wanted more than he did. So she ended up meeting somebody else who was total opposite of him. She, this guy was much more about security. He was that person who wanted to be home with her all the time, who didn't want to always go out, who wasn't interested in seeing anybody else. He was her rock, all right? So they were seeing each other for about seven years. All of a sudden, the guy from eight years ago comes back in the picture. So now, like you said, here she is juggling both guys. So she has it perfect now. She has one guy who she's very secure with on this hand, who's home, you know, who she can turn to in, in moments of need, everything. And then she has the other guy who she has an absolute ball with, and who she shared this great chemistry and this great passion with. And so she found herself stuck in the middle of these two men, fine with how things were going, but the guy who she was actually seeing and was in a committed relationship with, you know, became also very insecure about the situation because he knew that she was going out and seeing somebody else. And I know, I know me personally, I will be extremely upset to find out that the person I'm seeing didn't feel, I don't want, didn't feel fulfilled in our relationship enough to just be with me, that she would feel like she has to go elsewhere to find what she's not getting at home. And I think that's another point about the whole fear of commitment that we go through sometimes too. Feeling like we're not gonna be enough for somebody else that you know we may not be in a place where we need to be to be in a solid relationship even though we may want to be in one but somebody may be going out looking for more than what we can offer them and that can create a, a serious insecurity about who we are and where we are within our own relationship and that's something that you also have to consider as you are trying to move forward with the relationship because you may believe that after spending this amount of time with someone and having spent you know this quality amount of time with someone that you're both in a place where you want to move forward into, say, a marriage or, you know, even an engagement or whatever, but that person feels like you guys are actually missing something, which goes back to the point of understanding that sometimes you may really want to be with somebody more than they want to be with you, you know, because they're not finding everything they want with you. So when you find yourself in those kind of situations, it's like, okay, what do you do at that point, too? Whether you're on either side. Do you leave knowing that 
you're not enough for somebody else, or as that person who's not getting enough from that one person, do you go ahead and try and juggle? You know, and see, okay, well, you know what? I'm not getting everything I need here, so let me have four or five other people over here. You know, and just think about that as we move into the next segment and the next set of questions.